Well, finally tonight, the social and economic impact of the war in Ukraine is felt in the smallest villages of the country with power outages, unemployed people, and families torn apart by migration. EWTN Hungary traveled to Ukraine to report on the daily life of a small town after they helped a family of six to return home. Roads destroyed by tanks, abandoned trenches, silent roads. People who want to work, children who want to study, peace-loving families. We are at the village of Persha Travnya in eastern Ukraine, halfway between Kherson and Zaporizhia. The village has been living in the shadow of war since 2014. In clear weather, you can hear the sounds of fighting from the other side of the Dnieper River. In the spring of 2022, the war reached the area as well. Military outposts were built and air raid sirens sounded in the nearby town of Apostolove. The neighboring villages were hit by missiles and tanks were on the roads. The distance between the village and the city is only about six miles. Previously, it was a 10-minute drive. After hundreds of tanks passed through the area, the roads were so badly damaged that it took almost half an hour to get into the city. The soldiers were stationed in Apostolove School No. 1 for months and were hosted in private houses in the nearby villages, including Persia Travnya. The school was bombed in the summer, killing 30 soldiers and hospitalizing almost 200. The other two schools and the kindergartens in the city are closed. The children have online classes, well, when the electricity happens to be on. People say the true heroes are the electricians who are constantly repairing the electrical grid. There is electricity three times a day for four hours in Apostolove, in the morning, in the afternoon, and late in the evening. In the village of Persha Travnya, the electricity is not a problem. It is almost always on. But families are prepared. Many have bought a generator. In the region, families have traditionally made a living from stock farming and agricultural work. The excellent farmland, known as black soil, is one of the country's greatest assets. But because of the war, some of the land could not be cultivated and many lost their jobs. Before the war, this man worked with machinery, but he lost his job due to the fighting. Wheat and sunflowers are growing. There is no alternative but to persevere. We are praying for peace. Inflation and low purchase prices mean that farmers can only sell their crops at a huge loss. Sunflowers and wheat are the main crops in the region, but there are also lots of fruits and chestnut. This winter, however, the nuts are not worth processing and are used for heating instead. The men are either fighting or fled the country, only a few remain in the village. The village, which used to have six to seven hundred inhabitants, now has less than four hundred. Young people can't find work in the area, so they either move to bigger cities or go abroad to work, most of them to Poland, Russia or Hungary. The settlement lies on the supply line with soldiers heading east, often stopping in the town and villages. After the fighting in the area ended, those who fled in the spring began to return. Members of the reunited families say they hope that there will be more work in the upcoming spring and perhaps the schools will reopen. They pray that the air raid sirens will be silenced for good and that peace will come. In Ukraine, EWTN Hungary, EWTN News Nightly.